Good morning, class 11th. This video is for you. The Summer of the Beautiful White Horse by William Saroyan. About the author, William Saroyan was an Armenian-American novelist, playwright, and the short story writer. He was awarded the Pulitzer Prize for Drama in 1940 and in 1943 won the Academy Award for Best Story for the film adaption of The Human Comedy. Saroyan wrote extensively about the Armenian immigrant life in California. Many of his stories and plays are set in the native children wait now native Fresno. It is uh, that is the name that's why it is written F like capital here. Some of his best known works are The Time of Your Life, My Name. My name is Aram and my heart in the highlands. Now main theme. The story is about two Armenian boys and the white horse in a village in San Jacquin Valley, California. One summer, Aram is 9 year old and Murad is 13 year old. They belong to the Garo Gaglinian tribe which is known for its honesty. The two boys are extremely fond of riding, but they and their tribe are very poor. One day, Murad comes to Aram's house on a white horse and invites him to ride. Aram knows that horse is stolen, but cannot resist the choice, the chance of riding or the chance to ride. Murad keeps the horse in a deserted barn and take good care of it. He is able to discipline the horse because he has a way with horses. A month pass. A month passes. Then John Bayrou, the owner of the horse, visits the family and speaks about the loss of horse. The boys decide to keep the horse with them for some more time. After two weeks, two weeks, John Bayrou meets the boys walking with the with the horse. He says. It is exactly like his own horse. After two weeks, okay, this line I have read already. Uh, okay, he also says if their family did not have such a formidable reputation for honesty, he would think it was his horse. He does not accuse the boys of stealing his horse. The next morning, the boys take the horse to John Bayrou's vineyard and leave it in his barn. It means this is a beautiful story of two little boys. One is teenager of a 13-year-old and the other is 9-year-old. The narrator is 9-year-old. That is Morad, Murad, uh, that is Aram and his cousin Murad, who is, who had, who is crazy about horses. Now, children, next. Now, these are the short questions started. Uh, to which tribe did Murad and Aram belong? Which traits of the tribe are highlighted in the story, The Summer of the Beautiful White Horse? Murad and Aram belonged to Garo Gaglanian tribe. The Garo Gaglanian were extremely, were extremely poor. They were known for honesty for centuries. They were proud first, honest next, and believed, believed in doing the right deeds. No one of their tribe would ever steal. Everyone trusted them. Now, the second question is, what are the unique traits of the Garo Gaglinian tribe? The unique traits of the Garo Gaglinian tribe were that they were extremely poor, but still they were famous for their honesty for centuries. They were proud as well as honest. They believed in the right deeds. No one of their tribe would ever steal. They were trustworthy. Question number three. Why did Aram find it hard to believe that Murad had stolen the horse? Now answer is, though Murad was too poor to buy a horse, Aram found it difficult to believe that he had stolen it. This was because Murad came from a family that firmly upheld honesty as their special trait and were proud of it. 
Next question is why was Aram delighted and frightened at the same time when he saw his cousin Murad on a beautiful white horse? Children answer is Aram was delighted because of the beautiful white horse he wanted to ride. He was delighted and frightened by the pious stillness and humor in Murad and the horse. This means that he was frightened because Murad was on a horse which he could never have bought. Now next question is how can we say that Aram and Murad were very fond of riding? Answer is Murad brought a horse which did not belong to him. Though he knew that their tribe was well known for honesty but he would not help stealing John Bayrou's horse for riding. They enjoyed riding at 4 a.m. when it was still dark. They used to race the horse across fields, vineyards, orchards, irrigation ditches and country roads. Thus we can say that Aram and Murad were very fond of riding. Next question is Murad said, I have a way with a horse. Do you agree? Give an example to prove your point. Yes. Yes, we agree that Murad had a way with a horse. When John Bayrou got the horse back, he found the horse better tempered. Yes, better tempered because Murad was good at dealing with the wild, wild white horse. John Bayrou got the horse back. He found the horse was better tempered because Murad was good at dealing with a wild white horse. The horse wanted to run wild in the beginning, but Murad felt he could make the horse do anything, do anything he wanted. What were the peculiarities in Uncle Khosrov's behavior? Now answer is, Uncle Khosrov, who had a furious temper, was known to be crazy. He was so impatient and irritable that he stopped anyone from talking by roaring. It is no harm, pay no attention to it. His son came to him to tell him that their house was on fire. He silenced him saying, enough, it is no harm. I say, he was irritated and snubbed when John Byro told him about his horse having been stolen. Children, next question. It is question number seven. Yes, Uncle Khosrow. What are the peculiarities in Uncle Khosrow's behavior? Children, this question number seven, I have already told. It is the repetition here, so I am not reading it out. Question number eight. What did John Byro say to the boys when he found them walking with it one morning? John Byro met the boys walking with the horse which had been stolen. He studied the horse. asked its name and examined its teeth. He said if he did not know their parents' honesty, parents' honesty, he would swear that it was his horse. He only called it the twin of his horse. Question number nine. What do you think induced the boys to return to the horse to its owner? Answer. The boys belonged to the garo Gaglinian tribe, which was well known for its honesty. When John Bayrou met the boys walking with his horse, which had been stolen, he studied the horse, asked its name, and examined its teeth. He said, if he did not know their family honesty, he would swear that the horse was his. The boys became conscious. The boys became conscious. It is not conscious, children. It is conscience stricken. It means they touched that thing touched their their head and heart and the soul. They realized that they they did that whatever they did it was wrong, and this could bring disgrace to their family. This made them return the horse. Now the last question here it is: Describe Murad's Murad's parting from the beautiful white horse. Murad had spent some time looking after the horse. 
he loved it even though it was not his though it was not his own his own when he left it in john byro's vineyard he put his arms around his neck pressed his nose into the horse's nose and patted it the horse had grown stronger and better tempered in his care the question is why did john byro visit aram's house in his surrey after getting his horse back answer is john byro visited aram's house to show the horse that had been stolen and returned he he showed that the horse was stronger than ever and better tempered now the next question is how did little aram find stealing when he had to decide whether or not to ride the horse the answer is little aram was crazy about horses and was longing for a joy ride on the horse when the guest when he guessed that murad had stolen the horse he defined that stealing a horse for a ride was not like stealing money it would become stealing if he and murad wanted to sell the horse now the next question is why did murad steal the horse and then return it murad stole the horse because he had passion to ride but was poor to buy one he returned he returned the horse because he had no intention of stealing it besides farmer john byro reminded reminded him of of he of the high reputation of his family for honesty okay now the next question children these are long questions okay now the first question is aram did not think they had stolen the white horse even though they kept it with them for a long time why did murad steal the horse why did they return it Aram did not think they had stolen it is answer they had stolen the white horse even though they kept it with them for a long time because in his opinion it would become stealing only when they had the intention to sell the horse for money or keep it with them forever therefore they did not think they had stolen the horse murad stole the horse because he had passion on ride for riding but he was too poor to buy a horse they returned the horse back because their conscience instructed them to do so the meeting with the john byro meeting with john byro changed murad's mind and heart john byro did not claim the horse though he felt that it was his lost horse he only spoke about the honesty of their family which prompted them to return the horse to its rightful owner yes children now the next question the next question is what impression do you form of the narrator that is aram after reading the story aram is a 9 years answer is the aram is a 9 years armenian boy who narrates the story he is longing for a joy ride on a horse he is the only character in the horse who not only narrates incidents and actions but also gives useful information about other characters and their traits as well he also provides the description of the garo gaglinian tribe their traits etc he finds it hard to believe that murad has stolen a horse because he comes from the family that firmly upholds honesty as their special trait and are proud of it in his opinion stealing horse stealing a horse for a ride is not the something as stealing something for money he convinces himself by saying that it would become stealing when they offer to sell it aram enjoys riding the horse the temptation to ride a beautiful horse cannot be resisted by him 
Aram loves adventure. That's why he decides not to talk about the stolen horse. The question next is, the narrator mentioned a crazy streak returning in his family, running in his family. Which two character, so characters showed this streak in their behavior and words? Write briefly about them showing how they would be called crazy. Murad and Uncle Khosrow were two characters who showed a crazy streak in their character. Murad was a 13-year-old Armenian boy. He belonged to Garo Gaglinian family tribe. He, 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 he did riding to the point of craziness. He sang out of joy when riding a stolen horse and he had a way with horses. He was crazy like his uncle Khosrow and was descendant of his crazy uncle. And was considered descendant of his crazy uncle. Uncle Khosrow had a furious temper and was known and was known for his impatience. He was so impatient and irritable that he stopped anyone from talking by roaring. It is no harm, pay no attention to it. He said this even when his son came running to him that their house was on fire. He got irritated and snubbed John Byro when he told him about his horse having been stolen. Next question. Do you think John Byru recognized his horse? Why did he not accuse the boys of stealing his horse? Yes. John Byru recognized his horse when he met the boys walking with his horse, which had been stolen, asked its names and examined its teeth. He said it must be twin of the stolen horse. He said that he trusted their family's honesty, so he was not willing to create a fuss and did not have any intention to call them thieves. Thou he recognized his horse, but he told them that he did not even suspect them of stealing a horse. John Byro did not blame the boys, nor made them nor made them formal complaint regarding the theft of his horse. He merely touched upon their family honor. This had the desired effect on the children and they returned the horse. Now, last question. Question number five. We had been, uh, had been famous for our honesty for something like 11 centuries. The narrator described, the narrator describes His family in these words, do you think it possible to remain honest in modern times? Yes, it is possible to be honest in modern times too, as seen in the story. Murad and Aram were honest too. Murad took the horse because he loved to ride, but could not afford to buy one. And all the intention of return and had, and he had all the intention of returning the horse. There are many examples of honest behavior. Gandhiji inspired truthfulness by his example, Satya Mev Jayate, Truth Alone Triumphs, was adopted as national motto of India on 26th January 1950. Even today, honest people such as Anna Hajare are ready to fast unto death for upholding honesty. Many such activities, activists have put their lives at stake to fight for and uphold truth. Some of them have been laid down their lives. Young people are very idealistic and wish to eliminate corruption and dishonesty. Unfortunately, many among us find it difficult to follow the future gains at the cost of present day hardships and therefore we tend to choose the easy way out. But truth is, is like a bitter pill that actually is good for health in long run. Now, children, you will just see that is these are the questions over there. I have given you in the broad way also. This is the short way so that you will be able to read it over there. And now your notes are over. Okay.
then you revise it okay children this is the last one take care okay bye children